Hi everyone and welcome back to the Mission Builder Sanctuary. I've had a request um, reference to the World War II setting up of uh, heavy flak. So I thought I'd show you how I do it. I was just in the middle of uh, creating a mission uh, and it uh, ties in quite nicely to be fair. So first of all uh, what I do is uh, I set up round as a veal. There are plenty of locations for um, flak barrage units because on the map now, on the Normandy map, there are battery unit areas where you can place um, flat guns. And they tend to look like this. As you can see, they've got a trench set up, um, they've got um, a whole gamut of bits and pieces which make them look pretty good actually. Now if I change this to satellite, you'll be able to see there's a whole host of trenches uh, and then the gun emplacements. And they've even put in the bomb craters where they will have been attacked historically. So that's quite good. So round Azaville and Queenville, Saint Martin. we have these gun emplacements. What I do basically is I stick in 88mm flat guns. I place them individually. First of all I create a group of four and then I place them individually. In some locations it will be a group of five. and this just creates a whole host of um, or heavy flak essentially quite a gauntlet for the aircraft to run what I also did as well is I set up some units uh, with uh, 36 88mm guns a few tracked vehicles for having them towed and a Puma uh, just for protection so as you can see if I zoom out I have quite a number of these flak batteries in and around as a veal airfield. What I've also done is I've created a number of flights of B-17s and P-51s. So the P-51s will escort the B-17s and as they fly over this particular area the flak units will open up. Now please also bear in mind that uh, this will be quite heavy on your frame rates as it currently stands. Not only for the flak purse but for the number of aircraft that you actually physically use. Now what I found is the best altitude for the uh, most concentration of flak is around about the 17,000 foot mark. Now we know or I'm led to believe that the USAF conducted their bombing raids at around 27,000 feet. Now yes it still works at 27,000 feet but the concentration isn't quite there. So what I do is I set the bombers up for 17,000 feet and I set the escorts up for 17,500 feet just for a bit of separation. So what we'll do now is we will go into game and I'll show you how that works because there are no triggers required to activate anything here it's simply part and parcel of the sim so let's see that now and here we are in sim here are the B-17s making their way to the French coast escorted by the P-51Ds let's get a little bit closer So shortly, the flak should activate, and we should start to see a heavy flak barrage. And there we go, that's the flak starting. I warn you it's going to get a bit loud.
does have quite an impact on frame rates. But then again, I do have a rather antiquated machine now. So for some of you, this may just be a breeze. Well, I hope you found that useful. And I hope you have fun putting it into your own World War II missions. So thanks for watching. Ciao for now.